Hey everybody and welcome back to another video and I want to start this one off by thanking everyone so much uh, for watching the last video that I put up. I can't believe how many people watched it, how many people have been in touch with me over it. Um, uh, it's just been phenomenal. It's great hearing from everyone that has watched it um, to, to get, your, get your take on the direction that uh, the game is going. Uh, and it's clear that there is a, a huge love for Forceborn Marines. But that is uh, a video for another day that we will get into then. So I'm going to start this one. This is the uh, Horus Heresy Legion build video series. Uh, I think we're on episode number four now. It's a bad sign when we're losing track this early in the game. But I'm going to start it off with uh, Heresy News. It was on the Warhammer community website during the week on Heresy Thursday. And that was the Predator support tank. So this is going to be uh, another Predator variant uh, that's going to come with four or five. I think it could be five different types, five different types of uh, main guns. So it's going to come with the uh, new plasma gun, the Executioner Plasma Destroyer. Which is a pretty beefy looking. It looks to be like a I don't know, is a, a twin linked plasma thing, but it's pretty gnarly looking. It's coming with a magna melta cannon, which is also a, it's like a, a melta gun on steroids. A flame storm cannon for when you just need more flame. A heavy conversion beam cannon when the ones on your dreadnoughts just won't cut it. And last but by no means least, a neutron blaster, which has something to do with radiation. And we leave it at that. Also, at the end of the article, they said that next week's reveals are going to have a decisively Halloween feel to it. So the only thing I can think of heresy related that is also maybe Halloweenish would be Night Lords. Let me know what you think in the comments. It's great hearing from everyone. And I'm gonna I will try and reply to as many people as I can um, if if you leave a comment. So this week we had, I, I would say it was an up and down week for Heresy. Uh, so I got the black armor painted. Then when I had the black armor painted, I went and I put on some of the uh, decals. Uh, then I managed to get around. I was hoping maybe that I would have had a bit more done, but I can't believe how quickly they're actually come together once you just sort of get stuck into them. Because I, I, I won't lie to you, I did shock horror take a couple of evenings off during the week just with work and family it was just a bit too hectic but anyhow last weekend we had them assembled gray plastic this week we've got the armor finished so we'll just take a close look at them uh the havoc launchers have the uh the the the, the base coat on them the eyes are base coated the decals are on i also did a small bit of sponging on the decals of the uh, Dark Reaper just to weather them a bit. Uh, I've got some of the, um, I'm gonna say there it's the hexagrammaton symbol there. And we've got a little transfers there. The plasma cannon has a uh, lead belcher on it and shaded with null noil. Metal parts are all shaded with null noil, ready to be highlighted. The red eyes are ready to be highlighted. I will show you how I did the did how I did the the the, the decals I used um uh, Mr. Mark Soft Mark Soft Mark Softer and Mark Setter on them. And basically you just paint it on, put your decal on, leave it, and it will just dry there, and then you just come along and you paint other stuff on over it and it seals it all in place, and uh, that's as simple as that. Now, as you can see, the, the sword there, I wasn't watching it as it dried, and it did dry with a slight pucker on it. Um, look, I'm not overly worried. When it's there, you can't see it, right? Can you see that? No. And when it's varnished, they're all going to blend in anyway. I know you can see a bit of a bit of a color difference here, but listen, when we get it all varnished up, you're not going to see it. And also, we get the basis done. So there's the Contemptor with the Power Fist and the Plasma Blast gun inside and the plasma cannon havoc launcher he's ready to get the eyes painted and i might do a small bit of highlighting on the silver and we'll just get a bit of gold detail and paint it up and he's going to be finished get the base done so this week we'll get them finished based up and next week we will move on to 
probably maybe go with a track vehicle next week, I think. So this is the Forge World one. We've got the uh, twin-linked Volkite weapon. Uh, lead belchard. The, I used, uh, I, is it Iron Warrior? Is that what it's called? Iron Warrior? That I used on the banding on the armor and the carapace. Uh, also, the head has Iron Warrior in there as well. Uh, and then the metal joints all have lead belcher on them and the same with the exhausts just to I suppose mix up that metal detailing a little bit as you can see um, Well, you can't actually really on the camera. Can you that there is a slight difference in the metals? Anyway, that's the forge world contemptor and the last one is the conversion beam dreadnought again the lead belcher on the conversion beamer, ready just to, to get the gold accents on it. And the targeting relay is there. Let me look there at the eye. Um, and they're coming together pretty good. It is it, it's actually really encouraging that when you start and just get stuck in, how quickly things come together. Things that you've maybe thought, oh my god, I should really do this. But listen, five minutes here, ten minutes there. Um I have another video there about the um, the paint station that I'm using at the minute, and it is working a treat for me. It's a Frontier Wargaming case. I will try and put a link to the video in uh, somewhere on this one, but it is like it's just such a comfort to use. Like you, you can have your paint set up in like a matter of minutes, like two minutes, everything is ready to go. Just fill your water. Super handy. So also coming this week on the uh, the channel. I'll just put these back here out of the way so I don't knock them. Um, the Land Raider Proteus. So we do an unboxing of this and a look at it. I believe that there's uh, the the same weapon sprue for the Sponsons was with the Spartan that came in the Age of Darkness box set. But look, we'll check it out when we open it. Anyway, guys, listen, thank you so, so much for watching the videos. Let me know in the comments how your painting projects are going. It doesn't matter if you're not painting a Legion. Listen, just use this to paint. Just to get rid... Just, it's just a fantastic way of just switching off from the noise of the world around us where we can just sit down quietly Listen to an audiobook if you want. Listen to some music if you want. Listen to your kids fighting around you if you want. But just paint. Just zone out. Super calm. Have your own little Bob Ross moment wherever you are. Listen, guys, thank you so much for all your time and support. And I'll catch you in the next one. Later, guys.